guys, it's Jessie from Jessie Shelf, and today I'm going to be showing you some of my favorite book covers. So yes, today I'm going to be showing you guys and talking about some of my favorite book covers right now. I have 10 books here. Um, some of these books I loved along with the cover and some of the books were just complete shit too. And actually there's a couple here I'm thinking of unhauling but they're just so beautiful and I'm having a hard time getting rid of them. Anyways, these are in no particular order. These are just pretty book covers that I like. Starting off this list I have Dark Matter by Blake Crouch. Now you might look at this cover and go, Jesse, this is really plain. But the reason I like this cover is because it's like an optical illusion. I have videos where this cover is in the back of the video and I look and it's like kind of like it tricks me especially on the spine and it's just it's a very interesting cover very interesting concept and I just I really love it the color scheme is great I haven't read this book yet but I've heard really good things so I hope it's as good as on the inside as it is the outside <laughs> Another book cover that I love, love, love is Fiercely Happy by Jenny Lawson. Okay, so I read this book. The book was okay. It wasn't really my cup of tea, but this cover just makes me smile. Actually, I was in the bookstore with my mom and she saw it. She's like, Jessie, look at this book. And I just thought it was cute and funny. And then I kind of read like the dust jacket about like what it was about. And I was kind of going through a hard time at the time. So I thought it would be a really good book to read. And it's just like, look at this book. It's just so cute. It's so funny and like even little raccoon there and I just I just I love this cover it just makes me so happy to look at it and here I have The Nest by Cynthia Debris Sweeney I read this last May it was a pretty good book I actually really enjoyed this book but this cover was probably like my favorite cover of 2016 out of all the books I read I just love it it's so pretty it's really like simple but this is like embroidered so it's like pops up and the color scheme is great and it just it doesn't really like give you an inside of what the book is about but I just I love this cover so much and yeah it's just I love it it's beautiful beautiful cover another cover that I absolutely adore but I didn't like this book is Peter Pan by Jan Berry these are the puffin chalk editions and oh my god so I saw these on Amazon there's one for I believe Pippi Longstocking Black Beauty and the Wizard of Oz um, I can put them over here somewhere if you guys want to check them out but I saw them and I was like I need these books and I want to read more classics so yeah I got this one and it's just it's absolutely gorgeous like you cannot complain about this book cover it's just oh I love it so much like even like it's just beautiful beautiful book cover uh like I said didn't like this book but I'm probably gonna keep this just because it's a classic and it's pretty all right so next up is a book that is beautiful on the inside and outside and that is this savage song by Victoria Schwab this was one of my favorite books of 2016 oh I loved it and I can't wait for our dark duet but onto this cover so when I first got this book I was kind of like okay whatever about the cover but then when you really look at it like it took me a while to realize like this was the outline of a guitar and then when you read the book you realize why it's an outline of a guitar and it just fits it all so perfectly and oh I love the color scheme like the wording it's kind of like faded and chalky and it just looks so good to me and if you guys have seen the cover for our dark duet oh my god these books are <laughs> look so freaking pretty together and I'm just so excited for that release anyways. Next up I have American Street by Ibby Zaboy. This is a 2017 release. I believe it came out in February at the end. I can't remember. I just actually finished this like two weeks ago. I'm going to be talking about it more in my March wrap up. Anyways this cover it is simple yet there's so much going on like I love it and I feel like it really depicts the story really really well if you've read this book and I just I love the color scheme I love the outline of the Haiti girl um, I love how this is kind of like paint splattered like I really like this cover and I love the spine the spine is so unique like when they do like a full like kind of plainish cover and then they take the spine and kind of decorate it up like it looks really pretty on your shelf and I just I really enjoy it a lot I, this is such a aesthetic pleasing book. Another 2017 release with a beautiful cover is Caraval by Stephanie Garber. Now this is one of the books I'm thinking about unhauling and getting rid of because I didn't enjoy it but I just I have a hard time letting it go because of the cover because look at this it's so pretty and I've seen like the UK one as well and it's just it's such an aesthetically pleasing book like they did such a good job with that and maybe they did it because the inside was shit. I didn't like this book but yeah it's just <sighs> 
It really grabs your attention. Like if I saw this in a bookstore and didn't know what it was about before I read it, I probably would have bought it anyways. It's just really nice. Like everywhere is just gorgeous. And then even in the inside of the book, they have little letters kind of like in this form. And there's like little designs on the side and around the chapter. And it's just, it's such a pretty book, but I didn't like it at all. So it kind of infuriates me to look at on my shelf, but then it's like, oh, but you're so beautiful. And since we're going with like kind of like a pattern here right now with books that I didn't really like but the cover is beautiful, we're going to talk about Passenger by Alexandra Bracken. This was my least liked book of 2016. But this cover is gorgeous. Like look at this. Oh, and it, it's this is another book it like infuriates me to think about and look on my shelf at, but the cover is just Bam, so pretty, and I want to get rid of this too, but I just, I love the cover. Like, this whole book was done really, really well on the outside, not the inside, but yeah. It's just, and then, gorgeous, gorgeous bare book as well. Like, just, I love it. It's so pretty. Like, it just, even, the color scheme is great too. Like, I just, oh, I feel like I'm not getting my words out here, guys, but yeah, I didn't like this book. But I love, love, love this cover. Now I gotta get this jacket on, but yeah. So pretty, yet yeah, so, eh. <laughs> A Couple more books to show you guys. Next up I have Hair of Fire by Sarah J Mass. Out of all of the covers in this series, and I own up to Empire of Storms, well that's all that's out. Anyways, uh, this is my favorite cover. Um, I'm not into models on the front of covers. Like I think it's a really easy way out to do a cover. Like it's not super creative, but I feel like all of these covers for the Throne of Glass with the models are done really well because it's not like, have you guys seen that one cover for Throne of Glass? It's like like the blonde girl kind of on the side like this. Like I don't like the, that one and I'm really happy they didn't go with that. They, I really like these covers. Anyways, I'm babbling. Um, it's done really well. I feel like it depicts Selena really well and I just, it looks, it looks real, like a real photo to me, but it doesn't at the same time. And then they did such a good job with the spines as well with the head up here and it just, yeah, and even the back, like I, I love the back how, especially in this one, how it's like a pretty, pretty dress kind of photo and then up front here we have like a badass photo so it's like the two sides of Selena and yeah just I really like this cover this is also like my favorite book of the series so far I'm currently reading Queen of Shadows it's pretty good and last but not least I have Rebel Spring by Morgan Rose this is the second book to the Fallen Kingdom series which I've only read the first book um, I own up to Frozen Tides and like I looked at each of the covers and this one by far is my favorite i love the color scheme i think the red just like pops really nice and then you've got the model on the front i guess with like the wand and it just it looks like he's coming at you and i just i don't know if it depicts the book well because i haven't read the book yet but i just really love this cover i love how the words are kind of like lifted as well in these books and yeah i'm just <laughs> like looking at this cover actually this is on my April TBR so hopefully it's as good on the inside as it is the outside all right and that completes my favorite book covers as of right now I'm pretty sure there will be an updated version of this video at some time or another I'm always picking out new favorites but um, if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up also, if you haven't already, please subscribe. I make new videos every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. And make sure to comment down below some of your favorite book covers, your least favorite covers, um, if you agree with any of these. If you don't, that's cool. Let me know why. I love like talking about different opinions. And yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. Um, and I'll see you in my next video.